What's up YouTube and welcome to another draw along with me. Today's design is a really quick and easy text effect where you can create this design on screen. It just grabs a user's eye a little bit more and just adds a little bit extra if you've got some sort of message that you'd like to portray to your audience. If you're new here, I post Procreate content every single week. So if you'd like to follow along with a tutorial, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell. And as always, a huge shout out to my Patreons. If you're after exclusive Joel Create content, such as extra tutorials, access to our Facebook group and our Discord, which is coming soon, there's a link in the description down below so you can show your support over there. And with all that said, let's get started. So as always, let's create a new canvas. We're gonna hit the plus icon and my canvas size is 2,500 by 2,500. And then once we're into our canvas, we're simply just going to use black and white for this tutorial. So I'm going to change the background color to black. So I'm going to go to the layers. And if I tap on the background color, I can then pick what that will be. And if I double tap towards the bottom of the disc, it will pick up the perfect black and I can hit done. And now on this new layer with white selected as the color in the top right hand corner. And again, you can also double tap in the top left to pick white. You can also pick the primary color in the top right hand side as well. So I'm going to double tap to select white. And then we're going to go to the wrench icon in the top left hand corner. We're going to go to add text under add. And then we're going to add what we want our design to say. So for mine, I'm going to use the words always create, but by all means change it up to a different phrase, potentially your name or your account name on say Instagram, for example. So I'm going to use the words always create. And I'm using all capital letters as well, just to make sure that the shapes are nice and solid and then they'll be nice and full. Now, what you can also do is if you double tap on all the text to select it all, you then get the other text options. And if we tap in the font here, we then get all the other options for the font. And I'm gonna change mine and scroll through until I find impact, a classic. And then with that selected, I'm gonna increase my size all the way up to roughly around about 120. And then what I'm also gonna do is if I pinch out with my canvas, you can see my text. I'm also gonna lower the leading, which then brings my text nice and close together. And depending on what font you may select, you may have to change the leading as well, depending on also your canvas size. So I'm just trying to bring the text closer together. And the only thing I also want to do is I want to make sure that both words are the same width. So I'm going to double tap to select just the word create and you can adjust the text size individually per letter or per word. And I'm just going to increase mine up to 133, which then requires me just to then select the whole thing again and then adjust my leading one more time until they're nice and close together. Something roughly around about here is good. If we hit done, we should have our text like so. And then I can grab my pencil again. I can then use the cursor option. And if I turn snapping on and we turn this little toggle on here, I can drag my text down the middle of the design and I'll get an orange line to let me know. And then I can also see a horizontal one appear when I know I'm perfectly in the middle of the design. And I can tap the cursor when I'm done. So now what we've got is our text nice and aligned. Now we can go ahead and create the shapes that we want to cut out from the text. And then I'll show you how you do that and adjust. And then we'll add the shadows in. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer at the very top. And then we're going to select any random color. So I'm going to select red in the top right hand corner, just so you can see the design that I'm creating. And then I'm going to switch it out on my brush library under calligraphy. We're going to go to the option of monoline. And then essentially what we're going to do now is we're going to create some shapes, which will be what we cut away from the text. Now, what I want to do is I want to create some nice angular lines from left to right, cut straight across the text, and that will give me my nice shadow. So I'm going to simply draw a line across the screen like that and hold my pen at the end so I get a perfectly straight line. And then I'm just going to cut through where I want to, you know, cut from the text itself. So I'm going to cut something like that. And now what we want to do is just turn this line into a shape of the selection that will eventually cut out. So what we want to do is we want to draw all the way around the top of the text, like so, and then drag and drop our color in. And this selection here is what we're going to end up taking away from the text. So what we can then do is turn that layer off and you know which one it is because you can see the red preview. We're going to create another new layer. And I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to draw straight across the design 
like so with an angle and I'm going to cut through until I cut through the bottom of the E and then we're going to do the opposite so we're going to draw around the bottom now and link up to where we started with our shape and then we're going to drag and drop the colour in like so. So now we've got two red shapes if I turn the other one back on of what we're going to cut out and we'll leave this leather here in the middle. So I'm going to turn them both off and now what we need to do is we need to turn this text layer into a rasterized layer which means we'll no longer be able to adjust the text itself and you know, type something else out it will be sort of an image just like these two shapes above so we're going to tap on that layer and then you get the option of rasterize and now that's been created as a shape we're then going to start cutting away so let's start with the top section so you can turn it on and off just to be sure i'm going to tap on that layer and tap on it again until I get the option of select. Now, what it will do is you'll start to see these dancing lines across the screen, but we've selected that shape of the red area. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our layers. We're gonna tap on the always layer. For me, it says always because that's the first word of my text. And then on the screen, I'm gonna swipe with three fingers down and then we get this lovely copy and paste menu. And we're gonna simply use the option of cut and then we're going to do three fingers again to get the menu back up and we're going to go paste. Now you might not see any change here, but you should be able to see a line straight through the text, which is our cut line. And what I can then do is I can, with the uniform option selected, I can just make that slightly bigger and position it where I want it, where we leave a sort of dark line through the middle, but we're just scaling the text up and making sure that we create the effect that we want. And then that's the first part of that done. We're just gonna repeat the process for the bottom half and then we'll have our shapes ready to go for shading. So let's repeat the process. Let's go back to our layers. We're gonna do the bottom half now. So we're gonna turn this shape on and off to make sure it's the right one. And we're gonna tap on that layer and we're gonna use the option of select. So we've now selected the shape of that red area at the bottom. We're going to go back to our layers. We're going to go back to the layer that's now labeled as always still. And then once that's selected, we go to our canvas. We swipe with three fingers down until we get the copy and paste menu. We go cut. We swipe down with three fingers again and we go paste. And then we've got the bottom half of our design. And with the uniform option turned on, you should be able to just increase the size of that until we get a nice cool effect where we get the inside of the text hiding in behind, like so. And now that we've done that, the simple touch now is just to add in some shading in here. And then that gives us our nice 3D look where this half here in the middle is nicely indented in the text. So first of all, we're gonna go to our layers. We can actually delete these two red selections now. I'm gonna swipe that to the left-hand side and hit delete. And let's swipe on the other red one and hit delete and we should be left with our three layers for our text go to the middle layer which for me is called always we're going to create a new layer above it and we're going to tap on that new layer and we're going to use clipping mask meaning that whatever we paint on this new layer that we've just created we can only paint within the boundaries of the layer that we are clipped to so this middle section here so i'm going to go back to my brush library I'm going to switch it out to the airbrushing section and we're going to use the trusty soft brush. We're going to change the color of that brush though to black. So we're going to go to our colors, double tap at the bottom to select black. And then we're going to go to our brush size and let's reduce it down first of all to 4%. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that matches this line here that goes through the text. So I'm just going to start on one side. I'm going to draw all the way across and then I can hold my pen to get a perfectly straight line and then let it go like that. Now that looks very punchy and very strong to start with, but we can go to our layer and we can reduce the opacity of that and bring it down until it's pretty sharp, but not too sharp. So something like that looks pretty good. We get that drastic drop shadow. And now we can also do the same for under here as well. So I'm actually gonna create a new layer so I can separate all my shadows that way. So I've created a new layer. I'm going to tap on that layer and also clip it. And both of these layers are now clipped to this layer. And now we're going to do the same, but we're going to press a little bit lighter this time. 
and keep the brush size. Let's go for let's go for five still. And we're just going to swipe along that line. Hold your pen till you get a perfectly straight line. And then we've got our little other shadow in here to really emphasize that sense of depth. And now zooming in, the only thing I'd like to do is add more of a defined extra shadow under here as well. So I'm going to go to my layers. I'm going to create another new layer. I'm going to tap on that layer and make sure it's a clipping mask again. And we're going to go to our brush size. I'm going to make it 3%. And I'm going to make this one, actually I'm going to go 2%. I'm going to make this one really small, but just sit under here like so. It's nice and punchy. And then just lower the opacity down by tapping on the end of that layer and just reducing that down like so. And if I put my pen on the top and zoom in and go with four fingers to go full screen, we'll end up with today's little text effect. So a very quick and easy tutorial today, just something to grab a user's eye and make them think about your design a little bit more and grab their attention. If you enjoyed this tutorial, drop a like down below and sub to the channel if you'd like some weekly Procreate content. As always, be sure to share your designs with me on Instagram and TikTok. Links are both in the description down below. And as always, a huge shout out to my Patreons. If you're after exclusive Joel Create content, such as extra tutorials, access to our Facebook group and our Discord, which is coming soon, there's a link in the description down below so you can show your support over there. And I'll see you in the next one.